How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? Hey, action figure fans. Do you remember these classic Kenner bad guys from Return of the Jedi? Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Well, Hasbro has re-released them for the vintage collection and updated their names to Woof, Kithaba, and Nikto. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. No, their names are Woof, Kithaba, and Nikto. Try again. Klaatu, Barada, <laughs> well, we gave it a shot. Less talk, more action figure. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Collecting Star Wars. Well, we're back to bring you another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. I just returned from a GameStop toy hunt, and I found the Hasbro re-release of Wolf... Kithaba, and Nikto. These classic goons look great in their vintage collection updates. And additionally, your lucky winning lottery numbers are 24, 56, and 99. But hey, enough fooling around. Let's open these up and have some fun! And here's our three figures out of the box and ready to rock. Let's put on our super zoom lens and bring these three in for a closer look. And now let's get up close and personal with this handsome trio, starting with Woof. And I gotta tell you, the face sculpt on this guy, and I really just wanna highlight the, the faces of these three, really impressive. The colors just stand out. Look at the beady, shiny eyes. Man, those look so lifelike. I love the spikes around his eyes and cheeks, around his chin, and that helmet, very impressive. Looks like a tough, stitched together kind of leather. That cool ridge along the top, going around the back, you can see those sort of rivets and the stitch work, the protection around the neck, Really cool stuff. So the helmet, as great as it is, what I think I like most about it is that it's totally removable. So you can really appreciate the fullness of the head sculpt. Look, there's his ear and those scales that go all the way around his whole head. And he's got, just like the ridge on the helmet, he's got a, a real ridge on his head starting from his nose and all the way to the back of his head. Really cool. So great job. Love the profile on this guy too. Great job on Wolf. What a head sculpt. So lifelike, so alien. Really cool. And then there's Kithaba, the Klaatuinian. What a great species. Sort of a reptile dog. Love seeing them pop up again in The Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. But they got their start right here in Return of the Jedi. And so to see this vintage figure get redesigned and reimagined for the vintage collection, Totally psyched. Love that snarl. Also, he has some really cool spikes along his head. The red bandana is a nice touch right out of the movie. Love how it's tied together in the back. And yeah, really cool face. Simple, but very direct and obvious that this is a Klaatu Indian. Kithaba, very cool. And last, we have Nikto. Tremendous face sculpt once again. The eyes really, really make him come alive. Great spikes along his forehead and just some interesting 
choices in how they design the mouth. Just really cool, kind of a kind of a beak-like mouth with some cool wrinkles along the side. Very interesting looking alien. Nick Toes, really cool. Um, great helmet once again. Some fur on it, some horns on it, some cloth um, neck covering, stitching on the back. So neat design, very much um, kind of a stitching together of different materials. But again, a great feature about this figure is that the helmet comes off. So you can really appreciate the fullness of the, the head sculpt, the ridges along the top of his head, the sides, the back, very cool. They did not um, skimp on any of the details in this guy. Another great profile. And yeah, just a neat looking alien. Nick Toe, here he is. So now we'll take a full look at the figures and the accessories that they come with. And as collectors, we all know action figure prices are going up and it seems like we're paying more and getting less. But at least with these, there's definitely some value here. You get good accessories, including these excellent looking axes, nice paint detail on those. I love the ridge of the blade, really cool. And you get a palace blaster, classic, as well as the removable helmet. Again, great detail on this thing. Really love what they did here. Simple, but so much going on and an iconic different look that only Wolf has. So nice to see that. So to get three accessories is a rarity these days. So I kind of feel like I'm getting my money's worth here. And the figure's great, got the bandolier around his shoulders, got some nice soft goods, just like the vintage did. The legs are nicely painted, cool little wrap there. So just a lot going on with this figure. So I'm impressed. I like the upgrade they made from the classic, but yet they kept it recognizable and a really well done job here by Hasbro. So cool job, we got Wolf and he rocks. Then there's Kithaba, formerly Barada. He comes with a nice ax as well, this fiber blade. It's good and rusty. I like that one. This one's seen some action or been left out in the, the rare reigns of Tatooine. So that's cool. Also, it comes with a palace blaster, little silver accents on the black uh, blaster. And it fits nicely in the holster and these guys have holsters. So that's a cool um, added feature. So you can draw that at the ready. And again, just a great sculpt. He also has these, um, patches slung around his shoulder, which is cool. Matches the belt, love the red pants. And just a cool look. The bandana really makes it for me. So happy to have this guy, a nice upgrade, good accessories. There you go, Kithaba, ready to rock and roll. And last but definitely not least, it's Nick Toe. The name's so good, they got it right the first time. Didn't need to change it. Also comes with this ax staff. Similar to all the others, but the paint is a little bit different. So they're kind of unique and original, even though the sculpt is basically the same. Same with the Palace Blaster. He's all painted this uh, matte silver to match the, the, the staff. And of course, that great helmet once again, furry and flowing with horns and all kinds of character and style to it. I like that, but not as much as I like Nick Toe himself. Great looking head. Love his blue pullover. He's got the... Uh, Yellow stripe down the pants to match the movie accuracy, even though the original Kenner character didn't have the yellow stripe. Hasbro um, made sure to put it on this time. Matches the yellow in his eyes. So just a great figure, good stuff. I like these guys. If you find them at GameStop or order them online or wherever you can, definitely get them. They're wonderful additions to your Star Wars vintage collection. And that's a review of the Star Wars vintage collection. Woof, Kithaba and Nick Toe. Here's our trio of bad guys with all the Vintage Collection Return of the Jedi figures in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, follow us on social media. On Twitter, you can find us at Steve O Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. You can even check out our other YouTube channel for inspirational videos, and that's called Devo with Steve O. But until next time, remember, be kind, Stay strong because you are the hero of your own story. Hey, Dan. Yes, what's up, Steve? You know when you go to uh, 
look for Star Wars vintage figures and if you ever find them. And then one day, just one day, you get one, two, three, and suddenly life has meaning again. <laughs> Someone I'm talking about, right? Yep. Awesome. Can't do better. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Star Wars vintage collection! <laughs> Okay, just a little GameStop the, bonus. I got, I got the Darth Revan's lightsaber. This thing is purple and perfect. Dude. Darth Revan's Force Effects Elite. Look at that handle. That's bad.